Hello everybody, hello everybody, hello everybody. I would like to welcome you to my page. Um, whatever form of social media that you're looking at me on, I would like to thank you for joining me. My name is Tawana, the Queen of Travel. And the reason I am called the Queen of Travel is because my um, travel vision is so big. We are going to enjoy ourselves in this adventure it's going to be an adventure whether you're just um traveling whether you're traveling with me whether you're in the business with me whether you're looking on it's going to be an adventure i am a wife i am a mother i am a mother of three biological kids i am a uh, um, a stepmother i am a godmother i am a a grandmother and I am a foster mother. I have a full-time job where I care for six boys in a home. I take care of their daily needs, day in and day out. Um, I do everything, whether it's go to the doctor or whatever it is, that's what I do. I take care of them. Um, I used to be in a girl's home where I took care of six girls, but now they have me in a boy's home. There's a big difference, but I love all of them the same. I've always had a desire to take care of children that were not able to, um, to be with their parents um, and just make sure that they're taken care of correctly. That has always been my passion. So therefore, I am I am actually walking in my passion. Um, I'm walking in my purpose. I believe that is my purpose. I am a mother. Um, I, but I do have a passion. My passion is travel. I've tried over the years to go into different forms of travel in the travel industry from doing a travel blog which i will still do that um and try to get a website it did not work at that particular time but now i am um a travel agent with the travel and uh, my journey has just begun and what a journey it has it, start, it started off to be it is a little overwhelming because i'm on the um ground the ground um stages and trying to get everything in order because i want my um business to go smoothly um but it is really um i see in the future where it's going to profit me as well as those that connect with me um i will be telling y'all a little about my story about uh, my life and just what whatever the lord lays on my heart to say this is not only just a travel um trying to get you to join the travel no that's not what i'm trying to do even though i would love for you to join my team that is not the the sole purpose of this the sole purpose of this is to edify is to build somebody up is to offer a encouraging word to someone that may be going through something because i was that person i'm still i still am that person i need encouraging too so therefore um that is what this is that that is what this is about i want you to get to know me i want to get to know you so that you will feel comfortable with doing business with me if that's what you choose to do um where do i begin it's so much um as i stated um yesterday um on my on my on my live that um i have been through a lot. I have been through a lot, um, but I really do thank God for the journey. Um, this the day is about forgiving yourself. You know, when I've been married three times, and in those three, I got married when I was right out of high school. Um, um, I was married for five years to my children's um, father, in which probably it had I had a little knowledge back then we would probably still be together. You know, I look at um, couples that um, are still together from when me and him was together, and they're still kicking it. And, you know, um, but, you know, you live and you learn. Um, I was very um, naive, and I um, cheated on my husband. I cheated on my husband, even and even after that, he wanted to still be with me. I just was a little fed up. I didn't want the marriage anymore. I had been through a lot um, as a young as a young girl. I had been pregnant five times in five years. I had two miscarriages, um, literally back to back. My second daughter was four months, um, uh, well was two months old, and I was one month pregnant. And, you know, it just was things like that. And I miscarried that baby. And I was pregnant two months later. And I miscarried that baby. And it just was hormones all over the place. 
me not knowing what I was going through back then to where I wasn't on birth control, but baby, I should have been, but I wasn't. And um, so therefore a lot of ignorance caused me to really um, get depressed. And I was in a depressive state, even though I literally really had like, kind of like had the perfect life. Um, but uh, depression is something else. And, you know, even if people don't understand what you're going through, you can either look in and um, judge a person, you know, and um, not really knowing what's going on. But, you know, mental, mental, um, the mental state is something serious. Now we see that, you know, the mental state is something that you don't play with. But back then, um, you know, people just didn't understand it. They just judge you and, you know, kept it moving. And so in that instance, um, instead of getting the help that I needed, um, I lost my, my family. Um, over the years, me and him, we stayed friends. We did stay friends, but I lost him some years later um, to a motorcycle accident and my kids lost their father. Um, the um, I During those years, I felt like God was literally punishing me because I had done this man so wrong and nothing was working out in my life. Nothing was working out in my life. I, I was homeless. I was messing with the wrong dudes. I was just, I was out there y'all. I was out there and I was, I was living life. I was having fun while I was doing it, but baby, I, I, the, from, just the stuff that I went through and stuff, just the, the heartache, I just kept saying, God has punished me. God has punished me because I did him wrong. I felt like God was punishing me because I cheated on that man for so many years. Oh, my God. Like, there was nothing that was going to work out for me because I cheated on this good man. I don't believe this man ever cheated on me. I, I just don't believe that. Nobody could tell me anything different. He loved me. He really did. He was young himself, but he loved God. And I just... It, but... I was in a I was in a, a messed up situation mentally. Um so but after all those years I just would not forgive myself. I felt like everything I was going through I deserved it. I felt like I deserved everything that I went through. When I went through um times of you know when I didn't see my kids because they was with him, I felt like I deserved everything that came my way as if God did not love me. And I always, you know, during that time, I always went back to God, but I wasn't giving myself completely to God. But it was because of ignorance. You know what I'm saying? It was the, I loved him. I love God. Um, but it was I listened to some of the stories my kids would say right now about how I listened to, you know, me confessing the word over just confessing the word, they have to listen to it and all that stuff. I did all that. I did all that. And I believe that is what has sustained me in all these years. Even though I feel like God was punishing me at the same time, he took care of me. I went through years. I've been going through years of being homeless so many years. It's like you would think that I lived on the street, but I had a, my childhood. I never experienced anything like that. My mom, my dad, I always had a roof on my head. I never had to worry about food. I never had to worry about anything. But once I got grown and me and that man split up, it was like I experienced some stuff that I thought I would never experience in my life. But I did. I believe I did so that I could help somebody now. Because now that I look back on, I was like, okay, now, okay, now I see. Okay, now I see. Before, you couldn't tell me that. I just was like, I just knew God just, he loved me. That's what people say he did. And as much as I tried to get in my word and stuff, I just did not see him answering a prayer for me. I didn't see anything. So I didn't pray. I prayed to him, but I prayed to him. I prayed his word. Because I know one thing I know is his word when I return unto him void. So me just sitting talking to him, just talking, I ain't do it. I didn't do it. I prayed your word. Your word said this. Your word said that. Your word said this. So even when you look at me, you might look at me how I feel. Like you looked at me in the eyes of I don't know what. But I know you look at your word in the eyes of Jesus. So therefore, I feel like grace was over my life because I did have foundational teaching. I had foundational teaching to keep me going. So I found myself homeless. Um, you know, I found myself 
the girl, the 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 person that um I actually got into in teletravel with, she was homeless. We were both in the um shelter downtown Orlando, and that's where I met her. I followed her over the years through her journey. She has an amazing story, but I followed her for years, for years, for years. And she got into the travel business, and she travels. And I'm like, it's a desire in me that want to do that. I want to go to the Caribbean. I just want to sit on the beach, and I just feel like I'm just supposed to be able to sit up there with my legs up and just uh, sip on me a little uh, a, a drink with a pineapple sticking out of it and just enjoy myself. I picture that all the time. And therefore, I know God is not going to give me a vision of something that I cannot obtain. So why not? get paid for it as you do it uh one thing i've learned in this short while that i'm with intel travel is the fact that whoever it no matter no matter who you are if you book your own travel to go somewhere somebody's getting a commission off of it why wouldn't i get my own commission off of it i'm going to jamaica in a matter of a couple of months when i book my i, I paid 200 dollars to get into the travel agent to be become a travel agent up on the travel and tele travel when I booked my trip to Jamaica, guess what? I made my $200 back. So to be honest with you, my room is not as much as it's supposed to be. So it be honest with you, I already, it's it's like a win-win situation. All I can do is go from up from here because I've already made my money back. So if, if there's no risk involved, which there wasn't because I made my money back, why not? I want residual income. You could do this business. You could do this business just to be able to book your own travel. You could do this business to have a group trips or trips going out. You could do this business to get residual income. I'm doing this business to get residual income. I want to get make money while I'm asleep. I want to make money regardless. So, therefore, that's why I'm looking for a team. A team of people that are ready to make money while they sleep. And it can be done. It can be done. Um, but to tell you a little bit more about myself, like I said, I was, I've been married three times. The first marriage, like I said, I, I cheated on this man. And I just felt like God wasn't forgiving me and stuff. But I literally had to come to a place where I forgave myself. Uh, I'm going to say about a good five years ago. I'm 54 now. So I'm going to say when I got about, about 49 I just really sat down and said, you know what? I made a lot of mistakes as a parent. I made a lot, and I carried that for so many years. Oh my God. The the mistakes I made as a parent for even allowing my husband to even, my ex husband to even take care of the kids while I'm out there struggling in life. It wasn't like I was living my best life. I'm struggling, but they were taken care of by my, by my ex husband. Do I, I allow that guilt? of allowing that to take place consume me for so many years until I just had to get to a place to where I would not cry another tear. I would not share one more tear. I would not apologize not one more time. I would not do any of that. I've apologized. I've repented. I've turned from it. I'm trying to make up for it. And hey, there ain't nothing else I can do. I will not apologize not another day. And from that day forward, when I made up my mind to do that, I have not took myself back there anymore. I forgave myself. I literally forgave myself. You have to forgive yourself no matter what because we weren't born with a manual. We weren't born with a manual how to take care of these children. So therefore, hey, some of us do a good job. Some of us don't. I was one of the ones that did do a good job. And I find myself, and I, and then the crazy thing about it is, I didn't wasn't physically with my kids all the time, but I had somebody else's kids taking care of somebody else's child. And then I had to go to God and say, "Why is this? I long to be with my kids so much, but I had a dominant ex husband that when I got to a place where oh I want my kids back, I couldn't get my kids back. He wasn't allowing it, and to fill that void, I I'm already a mother." I took on other people's kids. I took responsibility for other people's kids. And when I say I took responsibility for other people's kids, I literally took you in my house and raised you for years. You never had to go back to your mama. I did that on several occasions. And it was like, it was so backwards. 
But thank God my kids never got upset. My kids never, um, every child that I brought into the home, my kids love them. Um, my kids are still, um, still sister to one of them. Well, three of them, three of my God kids are grown. All three of those I raised at some point. I, one of them I had for like six years. One of them I had for seven years. You know, where I literally took care of them. In and out of shelves and everything. Take care of these kids. That's what I did. But my kids had to have a bond with them because they know I, I wasn't with my kids, but I was with another child. And I feel like that's why the grace of God was so on my life. Because even though I didn't have my physical kids, I had somebody else that I, I had to feel that void. That void was aching. I was aching to care for my kids. And because I couldn't, I targeted that that love to somebody else and I gave it to them. And so it was it's been a battle. It's been a battle. The 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 road has not been easy. The road has not been easy. I have this one child. Boy, if she didn't take me through the ring and she made me feel bad on every turn that she could. But I just but God really like just had to deliver me from it. I had to just get to a place to where hey, I, I can't shed another tear. I can't do it. I have to live. I have to live. I have to apologize and I have to live. And that's what I did. Um, so I'm still in a child care business. Uh, you know, like I say, I'm 54. I'm a foster parent, a, a, a house parent, feel like that, because I li literally go into a home where I take care of these kids seven days straight, you know, seven, all seven days, seven days straight. I've been working 25 days a month since July of last year in various homes, very little home time with my own family. Um, so, you know, that's been a dedication that me and my husband have, you know, we, we, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm reaching for something and he's uh, giving me that grace to reach for it and to, and to obtain it. Um, I will be getting my own foster care group homes really, really soon. Um, that's my goal. But until then, Hey, this is what it is. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to travel. That's my thing. I'm going to travel. I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, so just a, that's just a little about me. I'm about what I, where I've come from, about where I'm going. Um, and I just want you to, it, no matter what you've been through in your life, no matter what you have been through, no matter how people may, may view you, because I have to get rid of the faces. Yeah, I ain't make the, I ain't make the best choices and stuff, but God forgives us. So if God forgive me, who are you? If you don't pay my bills and don't take care of me, I have no business worrying about how you feel about me. And that's just the truth of the matter. And I really have to get to that place. So I just want you to enjoy life. Join me on this on this journey. If you if you are a person that you you travel or you desire to travel, it bugs me for, for information. I'll give it to you. You know, I want you. To, I want you to reach your potential, and whatever your potential, whatever field that you're in, reach your potential, because God, God has the last say so in everything that we do. And I know He wants me to enjoy my life. I'm getting old, y'all. I'm getting old, and um, I don't want to um, work till I'm 75 years old, and then I can't travel no more. No, babe, I'm finished traveling in my 50s. I'm finna do this thing. You hear me? And I'm gonna, and it's gonna be a team of people, whether you're homemakers or whoever you are, you're gonna join me. I already know. I'm thanking God for you now. You're coming on, and we are going to enjoy ourselves. I, I, I wrote a book. Don't blame him. The signs were there. I'm going to dig into my book. I'm going to talk about things with my book. I'm going to um, just dig into some stuff that is really painful to me. But I want you to know who I am, where I'm going, where I come from. And the outcome that God is going to take me. I'm in the process of writing my second book. But we got to get through the first one first. So um, just continue to, to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. So you don't miss nothing. I don't want you to miss nothing. Because it's going to be a ride, baby. We're going to talk about some things. And if you feel like you want to um, um, inbox me and ask me a question, I will definitely answer it on the next broadcast. So enjoy life. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family. Find out what your passion is. Find out what your passion is. Get into your passion. Get into your purpose. Because I, I enjoy going to work because that's my purpose. That's what I love to do. I was always told your purpose is, 
If you can do a job without getting paid for it, that's what you're supposed to be doing. I always used to sit and just wonder, like, I had nothing but being a mother. And then I had to sit and think, I don't think I do is be a mother. And then it hit me. You can be a mother. It's plenty of motherless kids out there that need you. And so therefore, that's when I found, began to walk into in my purpose, in my passion. So um, until next time, y'all take care. Join me tomorrow as I continue on forgiving yourself.